Finding my voice continues to be a process. As I've worked in architecture, there are certain common threads in my work that I've begun to discover. And I suspect it will take my whole life to truly find what my voice is. My name is James Lang, and I'm an architect. I was born in Guangzhou, China. My parents went to the US to study abroad when I was two, so I was largely raised by my maternal grandparents. We lived in several small apartments in the city. As the surrounding areas became modernized with expressways, the area I lived in, this village, was preserved. It was more tailored to foot traffic. It had these meandering alleyways. In 1993, I came to the US. It was my first time flying. And when I arrived, I found my parents waiting for me. And I had to recognize them through photos because we had been apart for seven years going from such a dense city to a very suburban environment. It was an interesting transition for me. There was never a single moment when I realized that architecture was the thing to do. Rather, it was an accumulation of early experiences, childhood art lessons, high school photography classes collectively guided me Photography has also become a technique through which I conceive of space. The idea of having a blank slate to design from is largely a myth. As cities grow, infrastructure, roadways, and any other hidden systems become more and more pervasive. We need to think about them in a very intentional way. I'm very interested in the stage of architecture in between obsolescence and renewal. This term that I'm calling the architectural afterlife. You're not quite sure if something is obsolete or abandoned. It's often in this vague middle zone. It begins to find a new meaning. Hollow Grounds is a proposal we did for reimagining the Detroit Packard automotive plant. The idea there was, instead of building something new, why don't we study the strategy of demolition in a more precise manner? Can you begin to take away material in order to create new spaces, larger spaces? I've become very interested in affordable housing there is a very real lack of supply right now. Crest Apartments was a project which I was project designer for at Michael Malton Architecture. It's a building for former military servicemen. The building mass is lifted up to allow a continuous landscape to run across the ground plane. There's more potential for creative experimentation in affordable housing because the end goal is not to maximize profit. I want to create an architecture that is engaged uh, with the public and community, an architecture that is bold and experimental. Over the next year, I want to set up the framework for starting a practice. It's a necessary step to develop my own voice. <laughs>